All right, today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video. I'm not doing a proper review. I'm not talking about a golf course. I'm talking about a brand that I love. And that brand is Holderness and Born. This video is not sponsored. Nobody is paying me to say this, but since the early days of Breaking 80, Holderness and Born has been one of my favorite brands in golf. And they've also been wonderfully supportive of me, especially in those early years when I had no clue what Breaking 80 was. And I couldn't tell you the difference between a Nike golf polo and a Holderness and Born polo. I didn't really know what I was doing, but they asked me for some input. I gave it early on. And uh, since then, the brand has continued to get better and I absolutely love what they're doing. You can see that because I have a whole bunch of their clothes. In fact, there's probably a good chance that if we are playing golf together, oh wait, we're not done. I'm wearing one of their products. Oh, no, we, oh, we, we still got, we got more. Probably 80% of my rounds, I'm wearing something Holderness and Born related. Um, I just like the products that much. So today we're gonna be talking about the different products they have out. We're gonna talk a little bit about why I'm such a fan. I'm gonna share with you my favorite polo, my favorite vest, my favorite sweater. So if you're thinking about picking up some new apparel this year, well, you got some solid options. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the people behind Holderness and Born. You, you may not care. You may just be like, I just want something that looks good, that fits well. I don't care about the people or the brand or whatever, but you should. So John Bourne, Alex Holderness, they started this company right around the same time I started Breaking 80, like 10-ish years ago. And they were one of the first people that took a chance on me. When I started Breaking 80, I was clueless. I didn't know anything about anything. And they said, hey, we, uh, we like what you're doing. We like what you're up to. We see that you're starting to review some products. Try out this polo. Let us know what you think. And at the time, they had like two polos. They sent me a white one and a blue one. And overall, it was a very solid first effort. It fit me really well. It had some nice little touches, nice little like embellishments. It fit well, it was long, which was a big thing for me because sometimes you get shirts that are a little too short, you can't tuck them in all the way and then they come untucked and it's kind of awkward. Uh, there was just one problem with these. They, they, they weren't very durable. So after like a season or two, they really started to pill after like five, six, seven washes. And if you're gonna spend like a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks plus on a golf polo, you want it to last. And that's the cool thing about all of these products here. A lot of these I've had for like seven years uh, and they're still in my rotation on a regular basis. You may have heard me say in other reviews, I think when it comes to golf polos, when it comes to new brands, three seasons. It takes you at least three years, three seasons to nail down the right fabric, to nail down the right fit, to nail down the right combination of those things. And after about three years, you're getting enough feedback, you're figuring things out, you can really make a solid product. And that was the case with them. It took about three years to nail it, but now we're going on a decade and they've got like a dozen different styles of polos. They've expanded into vests and sweaters and all sorts of other accessories, and they're just knocking it out of the park. So probably like 20% of the reason I wanted to do this video is because they were so supportive of me in the early years, but really the other 80% is because they're just freaking crushing it with their golf products and I wanted to tell you about them. So let's do that. Okay, so real quick, if you're thinking about buying a Holderness and Born polo, let's talk about a few of the styles I like. My all-time favorite polo in golf is the Holderness and Born Maxwell Polo. This thing has been around for years. This is like a staple within the Holderness and Born lineup. And I have, I don't know, at least four, if not five of these. They are fantastic. So they're a peak knit construction, so it feels like a knit shirt, um, but it also has performance properties. So as your typical like golf shirt these days, performance, it's gonna feel like kind of elasticy, a little bit stretchy, very soft. Uh, those are great, and Holderness and Born has some that are like that we're going to talk about. The thing I like about this is it has more of like a solid, like there's a little bit of stretch to it, but it's more of a knit feel. It feels like more of a classic shirt, but it still has the performance wicking properties. So you can wear this, and I never feel like I'm sweating through my shirt. I never feel like you can see the sweat and it's like uncomfortable. It's just kind of the perfect shirt I've found for all weather, all seasons. And honestly, I love it. So I should probably mention it now, when it comes to sizing, when it comes to you know vests, pullovers, uh, hoodies, things like that, then I would generally get a large. I'm 6'2", about 200 pounds, long torso, very kind of lanky. When it comes to polos, I usually go for a medium. And I will say, I'm getting a little bit more of a belly these days, and the mediums, they still fit well, but I could probably move up to a large, which is going to be a little bit less slim fit, but definitely still a pretty tailored look. Um, so we might have to see about doing that, 
that. All that to say, I would check their sizing guidelines for each product because each polo is gonna fit a little bit differently as is the case with most brands. And even better yet, uh, Holderness & Born has done a great job of making it into all sorts of golf clubs across the world. So if you're traveling, if you're playing an interesting club, an interesting resort, I would go pop in and see if they happen to have any on the shelves that you can try on. So if the knit look isn't really for you, then a couple other models you should consider are right here. Uh, another older model that they don't have quite as many colorways now, but it's one of my favorites. I've had like four of these shirts is the McDonald. They all come in solids. It's kind of a cross in my mind between uh, the Maxwell and the Sutton. The Sutton is this one here, which is kind of cool. They all come in this stripe pattern and it's a very like thick shirt. So it offers great SPF protection. It's another one that I feel like I'm never gonna sweat through. It doesn't look like I'm ever sweating through this shirt, um, but it just provides a little bit more flexibility. It's a little bit more substantial um, and has the signature kind of cutaway collar, which Holderness and Bourne has become known for. So I'd say the McDonald doesn't have quite as much stretch as the Sutton, which is similar to the Maxwell. It's probably like similar in terms of that regard, uh, but it does feel softer. It feels like it has more of that kind of tip typical performance-y, elastic -y type look that so many people like these days. So for the first like five years Holderness and Born was around, all they did was work on perfecting the polo and they did a really good job of that. But over the course of the last few years, it's been awesome to see how many new products they have rolled out and how they've just really hit the nail on the head with them. So if you're a vest person, two of the vest options you might see are the Perry and the King. So this is the Perry. It's more of a linen look. It's a great like shoulder season if you're looking for something in the spring and the fall. So it's not super cold but you still want a little bit of an extra layer this is great i got it in a large and it fits really really well i also i haven't even worn it yet i just got this one this is the king vest which is a newer model for them and it has a little bit more of a downfill it's not super thick by any means but if you're looking for a cold weather vest then this is definitely the one i would go with i'm heading down to bandon dunes in just a couple days and this is what i plan on wearing i'm very excited for it and just in trying it on it fits Great, the large is the perfect size for me. Like I said, I'm 6'2", 200 pounds, long torso, and the large is perfect for me. So take that for what it's worth. Real quick, let's finish up talking about a couple sweaters and pullovers. This is kind of their iconic sweater, the Ward. It's got this pleated look that looks amazing. I love this sweater. My only problem with the Ward is it's a little bit short. So the Ward definitely still fits me. It's just a little bit shorter than I would typically like. But that's also why I was so excited when I just recently got this Ellis pullover, which I think also might come in a hooded version. Um, the sleeves are a little bit longer. The torso is a little bit longer. It fits me perfectly. So this is going to become a staple of my wardrobe. It looks great with the vest. I gotta say, I'm a fan of all the newest stuff that's been coming out. So they had that kind of three-year window where they had to really nail down the sizing of the polos. I feel like with the vests, with the pullovers, with the jackets, they've now been having those for three, four, five, six years. They have really nailed all of that stuff as well. So with that, clearly I'm a fan of Holderness and Born, and I just wanted to shoot this video because, like I said, of all the golf products I use, of all the peril of everything, I probably use and wear Holderness and Born more than anything. So this is not sponsored. Nobody's paying me to say any of this stuff. I'm just such a fan of the brand, and so I wanted to share a little bit about the things that I like about what Holderness and Born is doing. So with that, I want to say thank you for everything you're doing for the game of golf. Thank you for the support you have shown me over the years. And if you have any questions about any of their products, if you're thinking about picking something up, just let me know. I'm happy to help in any way I can. I hope you have an excellent day. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80. So make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up button, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you out on the golf course. Have a great day. Peace.